it's just giving back to the students and letting them know that they care about the smaller things that can actually push them. Uh, as far as like SGA goes, I feel like um, I, sh I feel like they should have more involvement, like reaching out with uh, organizations, especially like the smaller ones. Since my club here is uh, only like two years old right now, uh, we don't really hear too much from them. So it would be really cool if we could like you know get a little bit more guidance and a little bit more push, you know, um, instead of us kind of walking blindly. One thing that I can say about Jordan is he definitely has a different perspective than most people that I have come in encounter with when speaking in a leadership position. I know one of his main platforms is about um, community inclusivity, which I definitely, definitely take to heart. I think it's very important that we cherish our surrounding communities because we are Old Dominion, but this is in Norfolk, Virginia. And doing that, I think it'll definitely strengthen the OD community. Um, Taji definitely is a well-seasoned member of SGA. I think it's always good to have someone in a leadership position that has had experience in many different things. He served as an associate justice and he did a wonderful job as a chief justice this past session. And I definitely think that he will be able to continue doing such great things as the president. As the semester ramps up to finals, the student government begins its busiest time of year. Elections for student body president are in full swing, and we had an opportunity to sit down with the current candidates to discuss their views and how they plan to make an impact on ODU. Current student government speaker and presidential candidate Jordan Smith, along with his running mate, James Hamlin, were the first to sit down with us. Hi, my name is Jordan Smith. I am a sophomore and I am the Speaker of the Senate. My freshman year, I served as a senator. I served in four of the eight SGA committees. I also served as the committee chair for the Safety and Transportation Committee. I was elected in spring 2016 as the Speaker of the Senate, in which I have served as the head of the Senate and performed other executive duties as necessary. My name is James Hamlin. Um, I'm currently, currently the Secretary of SGA. Um, I was elected spring 20. 16. I'm currently a junior, a uh, criminal justice major, psychology minor, and uh, I started out in SGA my freshman year as a committee member um, where I slowly worked my way up to a senator um, and then a committee chair, uh, which led me to just last year when I ran for secretary of SGA. Taking some time to talk with students, Jordan and James talked about their platform and what it entails. So at my top three priorities, this is a platform that I'm running on. I feel like we need to focus on student empowerment, we need to focus on academics, and we need to focus on campus-wide unity. When asked how he will make these changes, Jordan went into further detail of how he will implement his plan. So for student empowerment, one of the biggest things I'm going to advocate for is having our senators and SGA go out and interact with the student body. Because I feel like we don't do a lot of that now, which is something that is extremely important. Second is academics. I'm going to start working with administration and the provost to, make, to ensure that we can find and implement new initiatives such as free textbooks. And third, campus-wide unity. I hope to start an initiative once, if elected, that will we call co-op SGA, where SGA will start moving away from being a programming board and allow the other student organizations on campus to do that because that's what they're for, whereas we are here as a governing body. One of the bigger questions has been, with having a longer history with SGA, how will he differ from the previous administration? So this administration is really internal, and I feel as if the president kind of focuses more on being the SGA president rather than the student body president. And that's where we, I hope to make the different, difference between the two. Because yes, you are the SGA president, so you do represent your organization, but you also need to represent the student body. He went on to detail who needs more representation. So as an engineering major here at ODU, I feel that the College of Engineering is underrepresented. But well, that goes to say a lot of the other academic colleges are also very underrepresented. So. As president, this is definitely an issue that I plan to address because not only are the academic colleges underrepresented, you have your minorities that are underrepresented, you have your student veterans that are underrepresented, and you have your commuters that are underrepresented. As an SGA, we say that we are here to represent the entire student body, the 25,000 students of Old Dominion University, but if we don't address the representation issue, then how are we as an organization going to keep moving forward? And that is definitely one of my biggest points that I want to address in the upcoming session. As we wrapped up our conversation in what is hoped to be the new student senate chambers, Jordan and James talked about more policy and how they plan to help students, with Jordan giving one final message to the student body. My biggest message to the student body is you have a voice. Come to your SGA. Let them, be, let them express your voice to the administration. If you have a problem, tell us so that we can address it. Although Jordan and James have been working hard, 
they are not the only candidates making a push. Student Government Chief Justice Taji Blackman, seen here speaking with the Student Director of Safety and Transportation, Michelle Mondre, is also making his run for student body president. My name is Taji Blackman. I'm a junior English major here, philosophy minor at philosophy minor at Old Dominion University. I want to go into research within higher education in terms of engaging different student groups and what, looking at what makes them feel more a part of their campus in comparison to other students. We finally sat down with Taji to discuss his platform, Connection. We asked him to expand on how he wants students to know he connects and relates to them. What I make known to anybody is just the fact that before I'm SGA president and before I'm chief justice or any of that, I'm a student first. And my experience here as a student connects directly to the freshman who isn't in any student organizations, but eats at the same place as I eat, sleeps at the same place as I do, has to park their car where I have to park my car, and are still getting like the same, are still overcoming the same barriers that I am as SGA president. It's just I have a title next to my name and they don't. Another of Taji's goals is to widen awareness of the student government and what it can do to help you as a student. I think the biggest thing that hurts us is as an SGA, not even as just a member, we've kind of maintained this image of being closed off or being the most educated party on campus, not really showing students how easy it is to acquire the information that they seek and make the changes that they want. So a part of like my presidency and my campaign is showing students how easy it is to how easy it is to access that information and to like make the changes that you want to show them to make it more attractive in the sense like there's not a lot of red tape that you have to cut through to get this question answered for you there's not a lot of red tape or a lot of emails you have to send in order to make this more accommodating to you as a student whether it's academics um mental health awareness um where you're eating where you're sleeping like these things are very simple so i think the biggest challenge is making people aware of that. But I definitely plan on utilizing like every ounce of my power to show students that that's attainable. Having discussed everything from policy to to-go plates in the new CAF, Tashi had one last message for the student body. As an advocate for you, if you lend me your ear, I'll have your back. After the interview, I was able to walk Taji back to the SGA office, a room filled with ideas, goals, needs, and wants from all over the student body. This has been one of the most challenging years for the student government, so there's no doubt that no matter who becomes president, even more will be expected of them, and they have their work clearly cut out for them. From your WODU studios, get your vote cast. Thank you.